the message bringing peace on the earth, tidings of good cheer. Come carolers, come and join with the angels singing joy to the world. Christmas time is here again. Christmas everyone. Welcome to our Christmas worship service at All Saints Lutheran Church in Wales, Wisconsin. It's a joy to have you here with us this year for our Christmas services. Our first Christmas carol tonight will be, O Come All Ye Faithful. Oh, God. 
Christmas song tonight will be All on a Silent Night, performed by the quartet and with Michael Knurn's child on cello. Sing to God something brand new, for, for God, God has, has done, done wonderful, wonderful things. things. 
God has not forgotten to love us all. Even, Even the, the ends, ends of, of the, the earth, earth have heard. Make a joyful noise. Break, Break forth, forth in song. With strings and horns. Sing, Sing praise to, to the, the Holy One. One. Thank God who is coming to set everything right. Justice, Justice for, for everyone. everyone. Everything, everything fair. fair. Sing to God something brand new. For, for God, God has, has done, done wonderful, wonderful things. And now the children will deliver a Christmas message in their own words. We can find the Christmas story in the Bible. Today's reading comes from Luke, chapter 2, verses 1 through 20. And it's presented by our friends from Faith Trek at All Saints Lutheran in Wales, Wisconsin. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. That means all people could be, had to be counted so they could pay taxes. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Quirinius, that's a fun name. Now back to verse 3. All return to their ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. Remember, David was an awesome king back in the Old Testament. He killed a giant, won a lot of battles, and wrote a bunch of psalms. He loved God a lot. Now back to verse five. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who is now expecting a child. Now that doesn't sound like a very fun Christmas road trip. Now oh, back to verse 6. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to, her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in the manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, there were sh shepherds standing in the field nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all the people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Messiah means deliverer. God's people were hoping for someone to rescue them from the Romans, but God was sending Jesus the Messiah to save the whole world from sin. Now, back to verse 12. And you will recognize him by this sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angels were started by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven, in peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Oh, that's a Christmas choir that I like to hear. Back to verse 15. When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village to find Mary and Joseph, and there was a baby lying in the manger. At the scene, him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished. But Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them all. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. 
amazing way for the Messiah to be born. But it was all part of God's plan. You can read this story for yourself in Luke 2, verses 1 through 20. Then, go and tell someone the good news that Jesus is born. He came for you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the wonder of his birth be with you all and, and also, also with, with you. you. Let's join together in the prayer of the day. Almighty, Almighty God, God, you made, made this, this holy, holy night shine, shine with the brightness, brightness of the true light. light. Grant that here on earth we may welcome Jesus, walk in the light of his presence, and in the last day wake to the brightness of his glory. Amen. And now Rebecca Seavers will sing O Little Town of Bethlehem. Christmas reading is from Luke chapter 2, 1 through 7. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinus was the governor of Syria. All, all went, went to their, their own, own towns to, to be registered. registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of, Beth of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and the family of David. He went, he went to, to be registered, registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and, and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. And, and wrapped, wrapped him in bands, bands of cloth, and, and laid him in a manger, because, because there was no place for them in the end. Our next Christmas carol will be Away in a Manger. Thank you. 
In that region, there were shepherds lying in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And, and suddenly, suddenly there, there was, was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Our next Christmas carol is Hark the Herald Angels Sing. had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let, Let us go, go now to Bethlehem, Bethlehem and, and see this thing that, that has taken place, which, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. And now our handbell choir will play the Christmas carol, Infant Holy, Infant Lowly.
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They, they told, told him, him in, in Bethlehem, Bethlehem of Judea, Judea for so it has, it has been written by the prophet. prophet. And, and you, Bethlehem, Bethlehem in, in the, the land, land of Judah, Judah are by no means the least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising until it stopped over the place where the child was. When When they they saw saw that the the star star had stopped, stopped, they they were were overwhelmed overwhelmed with with joy. joy. On entering entering the house, house, they they saw saw the the child child with Mary, his his mother, mother. And they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Our next Christmas carol is, It Came Upon a Midnight Clear. It was Christmas Eve, 
at St. Nicholas Church in Austria. The year was 1818, and they had a big problem. The church organ was broken, and a snowstorm prevented the repair technician from getting there before the Christmas Eve service. Now, in 1818, not having a pipe organ to lead the Christmas music on Christmas Eve was a disaster. But Christmas worship must go on. So the priest penned the words for a Christmas song that could be sung with the guitar, the only instrument he had available on that Christmas night. And that is the legend of how one of our favorite Christmas carols, Silent Night, Holy Night, came to be. This Christmas, amidst our traditional celebration with shepherds, angels, Joseph and Mary, and baby Jesus, the star and the wise men, and all that peace on earth, our world is suffering because of the coronavirus pandemic. Infection rates have been spiking, hospitals are at capacity, public health officials have strongly recommended that churches forego in-person services to help stem the spread of the virus. And even if we were to gather indoors at church, we wouldn't be singing our beloved Christmas carols because we are told that singing greatly increases the risk of exposure to the virus. And my friends, I don't know about you, but that's not much of a Christmas celebration to me if we can't sing our Christmas carols. So like that Christmas Eve, 202 years ago, when the church organ was broken, we had to adapt. We had to try something new. If the people can't come to church and sing together on Christmas, let's take worship to them by podcasting our Christmas worship service online, complete with all the Christmas music that we love. The world may be in turmoil, and we may have to change the way we do things, but Christmas still comes. With all this going on, and all the changes and sacrifices we've had to make, what strikes me this Christmas is that the world being in turmoil is nothing new. Even 2,000 years ago, when Jesus was born, people were living under an oppressive regime. Their own political and religious leaders were at best complacent in the mistreatment of their own people. And the people were ordered to do something very inconvenient and burdensome, like travel by foot for days to from wherever they were living to wherever they had been born so that the government could take a census. Does that sound familiar to anyone? In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and was expecting a child. Mary and Joseph had to take a burdensome journey on foot while Mary was nine months pregnant, nearly ready to give birth, all to comply with an edict from the emperor who seemed to be unable to count people where they actually lived and needed them to travel somewhere else to do that. Their world was in turmoil. But in the midst of it all, Christmas still came. The first Christmas came. Jesus was born. The shepherds, the angels, the star, and the wise men still came. The miraculous birth of this child to a teen mom in a cattle stall in little Bethlehem of Judea changed the world, and it still changes the world. God still comes down to us because God always comes down, especially in the midst of 
the chaos, the turmoil, the pain, and the suffering of life. Christmas still comes. Christmas always comes for you and for me, for all of us. Even during a global pandemic, even when we can't be at church together to celebrate and sing our Christmas carols, even when we have to find a new way to celebrate our dear Savior's birth, Christmas still comes. What God did 2,020 years ago, God still does for us this Christmas, comes down to love us and to bless us and the world we live in. Because God so loves the world that he gave his only son. And God will not give up on the world or on us. Despite the discouragement of all the restrictions, all the distancing and all the isolation, despite the political polarization in our nation, despite racial and ethnic injustice, despite the disappointments, crises and difficulties that people will always have and continue to have in their own personal lives, Christmas still comes. God still comes down God is still with you forever and always. That's the message of hope that began in Bethlehem on that first Christmas so long ago and is still true for us today. So whatever else is going on in your life, whatever else is happening in the world, always remember this. Christmas still comes for you. A blessed Christmas to you all. And now the quartet will sing of the Father's love begotten. Father and the Holy Ghost. 
Master be, Him and chant and high thanksgiving, and unwearied praises be, honor, glory, and dominion. all join together in the prayers of the people. God of every nation and people, from the beginning of creation, you have made known your love through the gift of your Son, who bears the name Emmanuel. God is with us. We, we welcome, welcome you with, with joy, joy and, and wonder. wonder. Remove whatever hinders us from receiving the gifts which the Savior brings, joy, peace, justice, mercy, love. These are the gifts we are to share with the downtrodden, the oppressed, the outcasts, the weak, and the defenseless. We, we welcome, welcome your gifts, gifts we are to share. We remember those who are living in the shadows of a marginal existence. We pray for the homeless, jobless, and re-entrenched, those struggling to keep their lives together. We lift up families, individuals, and children who may not experience the joy of Christmas celebrations this season. We, we welcome, welcome the opportunity, opportunity to, to love and serve others in your name. Christ, you who are the light of the world, help us to radiate the warmth of your presence. Enable us to give, our, to give of ourselves generously and compassionately in bringing joy, peace, and hope to others. We welcome, we welcome your, your light, light which, which gives, gives joy, joy, peace, peace and, and hope. hope. Maybe we, may we be filled with courage, openness, and receptivity in receiving and bringing forth the good news as we continue to be a witness of God's truth and justice, as we walk along the path of peace, as we are strengthened in our love for Christ and for one another. We, we welcome, welcome you with joy and wonder. wonder. Amen. Amen. And gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, let's join together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our offering is an opportunity where we offer from God's abundance to help do the work of the church. And while we, while we have an offering, our bell choir will play the song on Christmas night. We join together in the offering prayer. Good and loving God, we rejoice in the birth of Jesus who came among the poor to bring the riches of your grace. As you have blessed us with your gifts, let them be blessings for others. With all earth and heaven, we shout for joy as we welcome your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As we sing Silent Night, 
We will light candles and sing it in the semi-darkness. Rebecca Sievers will lead us in singing Silent Night, Holy Night. Christmas blessing. May the word that Mary brought to birth carry you into new and abundant life. May the joy that Joseph cradled in his arms enfold you with the love and strength. May the welcome that angels proclaimed in song bring peace and harmony to our world. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Our closing Christmas carol is Joy to the World.
no matter where this Christmas finds you, go in peace, knowing that Jesus, the Savior of the world, has come for you. Merry Christmas, everyone. A blessed Christmas to you all. Our postlude will be by the Association of Lutheran Church Musicians, Angels We Have Heard on High.